So let's now get some more insight into the crisis rocking the river state over the tenure of local government chairman. And we're being joined by Channels Television's political analyst, Laulu Akonde. Great to have you on the News at 10. Good to see you, Hayo. Yes, so today the newly sworn in caretaker committee chairman also swore in their own committee members, uh, Laulu, but most of them could not have access uh, to the council secretariat as a result of the barricades by the police. How do you see this playing out, Laulu? Yeah, so uh, it, it would seem that the action of the uh, federal police, uh, if it is not carefully managed, might be tantamount to an attempt by the federal government to interfere in the affairs of the state government. Now, the governor, uh, who seems to have the, uh, the, the, the powers to constitute uh, uh, the caretaker committees based on the practice that we have seen since 1999, did so uh, on Tuesday. And we have reports on Wednesday of some of the chairmen uh, being prevented from going uh, into the offices. Now, uh, it, it is hoped, you know, based on what the Inspe Inspector General of Police has said, that this is possibly a, an interim measure uh, to preserve the peace. Now, if it goes beyond that, if you have a situation where the federal police is preventing uh, the governor and his appointees from doing the legitimate business of the state government, then that might be something uh, that will become a burden on the federal government itself uh, because it is not meant to be involved in the day-to-day -day running of a state or the, uh, the, the, the local government. So, so we, 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 we will have to watch the situation a little bit more to get a little bit more clarity as to what the intention of the, uh, the federal police is uh, in, in this situation. But hopefully, you know, it will not become uh, uh, something that, uh, that will be an obstruction uh, to the pursuit of the activities of the river state government. All right, Laulu, now some have said this crisis is now beyond the misunderstanding between a sitting governor and, of course, his predecessor. Do you think there are external forces propelling what is going on in River State as we see it? Well, I, I, I think that it is still essentially uh, a crisis that has two important uh, dramatic personnel. Uh, the governor himself, Governor Sim uh, Fubara, and his predecessor, you know, and uh, I dare say his benefactor, uh, Mr. Yesom Wike, you know, who is the minister for the FCT. Essentially, uh, these are the two main figures that are contending. Uh, and and it's, it's also the reason why it will have to take a political solution at the end of the day uh, to resolve this crisis. As you know, there have been many court cases uh, each side has one court or other to cling on uh, to assert its position and its posture. And uh, it will take a little bit of time to sort out, you know, some of those uh, contending cases. Uh, but ultimately, even when that is done, uh, because people can always, you know, push the cases all the way to the Supreme Court, ultimately, in my view, what will have to happen in River State is that there will be a political solution uh, to, uh, to the crisis, which, which, like I said, is a crisis between Governor Fubara and Mr. Yesom Wike, the FCT minister. All right, Laulu, as we round up in about 60 seconds, is this fast becoming a political logjam that will be around for a while, or how would you say this would end? Well, you know, uh, it's, uh, it, it's already uh, a major distraction in River State, and I dare say, you know, to some extent, even in the country. Now, uh, the governor is trying his best to give the impression that regular governance is going on. You know, he goes about, you know, uh, uh, doing the best. But clearly, you know, the focus on River State is about the crisis. And uh, one hopes that this will not go too long. That was why I said before that it would seem that the best way to solve this matter might be a political solution. Uh, but if that doesn't happen then we have to wait for the longer period for all the court cases uh, to, 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 to be resolved. Clearly, in my view, the governor cannot allow a situation where the, uh, there is an allegation of the, uh, the, the local government. That seems to be something that is based on our grand norm, uh, the Constitution. But there are other 
uh, political issues that are going on. And we hope that there will be a political solution so that too much time will not be wasted on politics when we are supposed to be having governance in River State. Laula Kone, Channel Television's political analyst. Thank you so much for your thoughts on the news at 10. Thank you, Ayo.